For those who have read Stellar Metamorphosis and get the gist of the argument, I want to show them Kepler planets. These are actually very, 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 very old stars. It is predicted by Stellar Metamorphosis that the star will cool and shrink and it will combine its elements into molecules. See all that, all those bands that's elements combining with other elements creating molecules which rain down onto the center of the star. Of course it doesn't have any spectrum anymore, it's a gas giant, but that gas giant will continue shrinking and depositing the material on the inside just like Neptune's doing right there and it will shrink, shrink, and shrink as we see with Kepler 11c, Kepler 11f these are large Earths on this bottom side of the graph here these objects are basically water worlds in stellar metamorphosis because the water has a very high specific heat capacity meaning it retains a lot of the heat so once it gets to this stage the heat retention is so high in addition to the fact that it's forming the crust in the center and the material continually deposits onto the surface of the star forming land in very thick layers until we eventually get a very thin atmosphere and thin oceans which cover the land. This deposition process from gas giant all the way down to these stages of stellar evolution form land as a consequence. We're also forming you know their interior mantles and all that stuff but we'll just go over land which is the last process which is covered in by these stars right here Kepler 11c down to Kepler 10b. If you'll notice these are the layers of land in the Grand Canyon. It should be natural philosophy that the further you go into the interior of the star, the further or the earlier that formation formed. So you have the bottom layers forming the first and then successively going younger and younger and younger and younger and younger. In other words, this land that's formed here was under much higher pressures and temperatures or else it wouldn't have crystallized into its current stable rocky structure. These formations and the reason why they're layered are because that's what happens to the star as it cools and shrinks the material on the top end deposits into the center forming the little pearl in the center this is a basic process land formation is the result of stellar evolution itself the earth is not just some random rock preformed via nebular hypothesis it is an ancient star at the very end of a succession of stages of evolution from a much younger water world to a very hot water world to a gas giant and all the way up this graph doesn't continue but it becomes obviously a red dwarf and then if it gets hotter and hotter and hotter to a sun-like star vastly larger than the graphical representations here. But I think that should cover it. Kepler has found many thousands of these, all different sizes and all different compositions. This is predicted by stellar metamorphosis and was not predicted by the nebular hypothesis. I will let my viewers decide what they consider to be possible. Alright, I think that should cover it.